Jagex is unprepared for the amount of boosting that's about to occur in the rank 1 necromancy race. Aggro cheesing, 20% damage buffs, and outright headhunting are on the table. There are over 3,000 players with max XP, so it's inevitable that questionable methods will be used for the top spots, and paying for rank 1 is a very likely scenario. The race really boils down to who can deal 4 billion damage first. With the XP rework coming into the game, it's a simple matter of damage in equals XP out with a 20 to 1 ratio, but it's not actually that simple. Necromancy damage dealt depends on target accuracy. That means targets you don't have 100% hit chance on will take reduced damage and slow your XP gains. Additionally, any damage over the amount required to kill a target is wasted and will give no XP. This is where PvP combat comes into the mix. I haven't seen Jagex say anything about it specifically. Currently, player killing in RuneScape 3 gives relatively low XP, but if the new combat changes apply to everything, then this will be the best in slot training method by miles for the new skill. It's already a top method for old school RuneScape combat, which uses a similar damage in equals XP out formula. Hopefully this isn't the case and it doesn't work, but if it does, players can customize accounts for optimal XP. I'm talking a 1 defense, 99 hit points DPS dummy. Then that very rich player like Lei Mi could hire 20 of these accounts to do all the work for him. Turn on auto retaliate with a good AoE bar, have the accounts group in the good location, punch you, and your character will put out absurd XP per hour amounts with very little brain drain for the grinder. The PvP methods expand outside just traditional killing methods. If you look at mini games like Soul Wars, it's possible to kill the avatar which has 100k hit points while killing hired players for XP in between while other hired players on your team help debuff the avatar. This is the second boosting method that people haven't properly realized yet. Let's hope the PKing strats are patched out and don't work. You can still hire players to give you massive DPS buffs while killing monsters. Magic has a number of spells that give straight DPS increases. These are Vuln, Smoke Cloud, and Ruby Aurora. For Vuln, another player can throw Vuln bombs for you so you don't need to think about it. For Smoke Cloud, they can target creatures you will attack to give increased damage on crits and increase crit frequency, assuming the spell stacks like it does with melee and ranged. For Ruby Aurora, they can set up a DPS dummy and cast a spell on it to give you a 3% damage buff. Jagex has patched ability stalling for Necromancy, which is great, as it prevents methods like Tusker Wrath stalling to instant hit targets every 15 seconds. They've looked into Storm Shards also, but there's a chance people can build up stacks with you and you still get credit for a massive 30k hit. We have preliminary info about some necromancy abilities. One of them, Life Transfer, extends your summoned creature's duration at the expense of life points and runes. Heal Other can be cast on you after using this ability, allowing increased upkeep of spirits. Heal Other can also be helpful for tanking hard-hitting monsters while training if Soul Split isn't enough to sustain you, giving access to superior training methods. Players can also stand under you and take aggro from monsters to help with tanking. Abilities like Aggression will come in handy for this and can be used to get superior monster luring compared to people using just an aggro pot. Also, consider 5 accounts, all with an aggro pot on, standing in one spot, more monsters are going to be drawn in. The final boost I'm going to cover is the pure cash advantage. Buying all the runes you need, having players ready to supply you with ritual ingredients right at the site, and snagging the very first tier 95 necro boss drops will blast you miles ahead of anyone not using them. For rank 1, you need to be rich and you need to have friends or hired helpers. While all these things don't sound like a terribly huge advantage, when you think about it, 20% more damage saves you 40 million experience in your grind. It adds up very fast. Let me know what you discover when the new skill hits, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss ability rotations, superior training methods, and whatever else I figure out.